In this video we're going to take a look at conversions of weight and mass and we're going to look at standard and metric and the conversion in between the two. So in the blue we have uh, the standard measurements and we have one ton is 2,000 pounds. Now this is known as also, or also known as the short ton and you'll see why when we go to the metric and we have the, uh, the conversion from standard to metric. Uh, but the secondary one is one pound is 16 ounces. Now I don't, I don't really go into in, in this particular one the difference between fluid ounces and, and dry ounces, that sort of thing. Um, but weight and mass can be kind of the same in the standard system and it's uh, a, a little strange. Now, uh, one of the things that I do want to point out in, amongst the standard and metric is that if you look at the metric, it's kind of a misnomer. See, the first one calls the metric ton, or the long ton, 1,000 kilograms. Here's the problem. Kilograms is a measurement of mass. Pounds is a measurement of weight. They are not the same. And so when you go into a doctor's office and, and the nurse puts you on the scale and says, oh, you weigh, uh, let's say just for me, uh, Mr. Tubby over here, uh, I weigh 100 kilograms. Now, I don't weigh in kilograms at all. And I like to, I, I'm kind of naughty that way. I, I like to tease my nurses about that. So it's just a way to keep my nerd toes. <laughs> they love me and, 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 they, and they know that I mean well. And, and then they tease me right back saying, yeah, but uh, you shouldn't be that heavy. <laughs> So it really doesn't matter what I weigh you in. Anywho, uh, in the green, and the, the other metric conversions, by the way, are the same as they were for the meter, are the same as they, uh, they were for the liter, if you've already watched that video. They're all going to work the same way. And that's the beauty of the metric system. In green, there is a conversion from standard to metric. And this, this conversion is kind of not only converts mass to mass, but it also takes gravity out of the picture or puts it back in depending on which way you're going. But the conversion is that one kilogram is 2.2 .2 pounds. Again, the kilogram measures mass and the pounds measures weight and so it's kind of weird. If you're really interested in it, the slug is the measure of mass in the standard. I do not know the conversion for that. However, from NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, uh, which sets all of the all of the conversion standards and that sort of thing for the United States, defines one pound to be uh, 0 0.4535924 kilograms. If you invert that, you get roughly 2.206 pounds per kilogram. So that's the conversion. Okay, now, in the first part of this, we're going to just con uh, concentrate on converting within standard and within metric, and then we'll do s a couple of examples where we are converting from metric to standard and standard to metric. That will probably be in a subsequent video. So let's take a look at this first example here. If you have not seen my other videos on conversions, I'm going to follow this kind of a me uh, this kind of a method here, and I'm going to put the start or where where I begin up in the upper left hand corner of this grid and then I want to put where I was down below and where I want to be up top. This may not be direct. In these three examples it will be fairly direct. However, it doesn't have to be. Sometimes these can be chained along but this is the general setup. Alright, for our first example we have 232 pounds. That's where I'm starting and then I have to have my conversion from pounds to short tons and that's 2,000 pounds in one short ton. Now where I was was pounds where I want to be is short tons and so I have 2,000 pounds in one short ton. And we multiply straight across the top and then divide straight across the bottom all in one shot. That's the wonderful thing about this particular setup. So if I do that, that's 232 times 1 divided by 2,000, which gives me 0 0.116 if I do it out on a calculator. For my second example here, I've got 2345 short tons, and I want to convert that to kilograms. So I was in short tons, I will be in kilograms, or want to be in kilograms. And 1,000 kilograms is one short, uh, long ton. I apologize if I called it a short ton before. It is a long ton. 
And so now I just multiply straight across the top and divide by the bottom. So I have 2,345 times 1,000 divided by 1 gives me 2,345,000 kilograms. And now I, had, I didn't do this and I should have, and shame on me for not doing it. But whenever you're dividing by the same unit as you're multiplying by, they cancel out one for one, much like factors do when you're trying to reduce fractions. The only difference is they don't really divide out to be one, they just go away. Because they're not a number, so they don't follow the mathematical rules or the mathematical laws. They just kind of go away. And this is most prevalent if you're working with things that have to do with exponential functions. If you don't know what these are, don't worry about it. If you happen to know what these are, they're unitless when they're in the, the logarithm or the exponential. And when they pop out, they magically have a unit. Well, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense uh, scientifically, but it's the relationship issue. And so units are, are somewhat held separate than the numbers. And we can treat them separately. This last example here, I'm, it's within the metric system, and I'm going to do it a slightly different way. I'm going to draw out my little continuum here of, of the metric system and use that. So here I have my unit, then I have deci, centi, and then milli is my next major. And then I skip to, and my third one is micro. Okay, now MCG, and at least in the United States in the medical field, M, whoop, MCG stands for microgram. In the sciences, it's not MCG, it's mu G for microgram. And so it, it depends on how you're using this video as to how you want to uh, look at this. I'm just throwing that out there because we, uh, in my classes I have a high concentration of nurses. And, and they're going to want to know how to do it according to their industry. And so I wish all the industries would just come out, but let's face it, typing out the letter mu, not really all that easy when you're not a scientist. And, and so to save, to save time, you say MCG for micro. Okay, so now, going the other way on this continuum, however, we go 1, which is deci, uh, deca, 2, hecto, 3 is kilo, and then it jumps to, and the third one after kilo is mega. There's nothing in between those. And so, if you look at these, hecto, deca, and deci, not used very much. Centi is used quite a bit when you're talking about length for centimeters, but outside of that, I haven't seen that used very much either. But kilo, milli, micro, mega, these are all used quite a bit. If you want to if you want to take a look at the long ton, the long ton is actually a mega gram. But apparently somebody thought that they didn't sound nice, and so we're just going to go ahead and use something else. Good for them. Either way, so to do this conversion, we're converting within the metric system. What we're going to do is we start where we are, and I'm going to use a different color that does not show up against blue very well, so let me, let me use a nice deep purple. And we're going to move it over to kilograms, counting the number of steps that we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. And so that tells us that if we take uh, 3, 8, 4, 3, 7, 4, 2 decimal point. If we take that decimal point and we move it over 9 spots to the left, we'll have kilograms. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's the decimal point. Any blank spaces get zeros. And so now I have uh, the answer is 0 0.0038437432 kilograms. And we just converted from micrograms to kilograms. Probably not a conversion you're going to do a lot, but what this does is it kind of gives you an, a feeling for how the metric system works and how it, in my opinion anyway, is vastly superior to the American or standard system.
I would say the imperial system, like I called it in a previous video, but hey, let's face it, even Britain switched out of it. So even the people that developed it said, uh, we don't like this, and we're moving on. I have a feeling we will too.